Okay, so we got a John Deere 4066R here, and I just wanted to show you quick what these uh, extra remotes in the back and all the hydraulics here are for, what they do, um, where you hook it up, all that stuff. Um, so I'm just going to talk about the remotes on the back here. So these top two are tying into my hydraulic side cylinder for the top and tilt. So this is the tilt cylinder, so I could uh, angle a blade here sideways if I wanted to. Um, so that's my top one. The next one I have here, these two guys control my tilt so I can suck in or push out the top of the implement. Um, each one of these has two hoses, essentially, one's for pushing the cylinder out and the other for going back the other way. Um, just push the fluid both ways. So then the next ones, kind of see down in here, these guys here are uh, the green ones. And that I have hooked up onto here to tilt, rotate I should say, the chute here. I want to get another set so I can put a hydraulic cylinder in here to be able to tilt this. But, so in order to actuate this cylinder, you have to plug it in down there, and then you got to go in the cab, you got to flip a couple of switches here to make it work. in the cab you have to press this switch and then select this switch so when you select this switch here it makes it so that your joystick here no longer operates the loader so if I move the joystick here forward and backward you'll notice the loader is not moving That's because I have this button pressed here. So now, if I go around to the back and I move that loader joystick forward and backward, it's actuating this. So if I want to go back to the loader control, I just flip this off, and now my loader will go up and down as I move this joystick. I'm assuming it's a similar situation for this one, I haven't actually used that one yet. Uh, maybe the, the side to side um, will be the other the other function. So when you switch this, it'll divert both the forward and backward control to the back and the side to side control of this. So if I remove it side to side, it'll make that, I'm gonna get a cylinder in here. Once I get a cylinder in here, it'll make that go up and down. Um, that's my wish. We'll find out once I get that all set up. But uh, that's how I'm hoping it works. So it's pretty simple. Just got to flip this on or off, depending on if you want to actuate the front of the tractor or the back of the tractor. And uh, then select this. I think this one might be continuous flow or something like that. I'm really not sure I have to read about that one, but at any rate, that's all. I just want to do a quick, so, uh, quick video on that, so that uh, you guys that are having a hard time understanding how all these cylinders work, like I was when I was trying to buy this, and what all the extra remotes are for, why you might want the extra rear remotes. Um, that's why. Got a lot of hydraulics going on back there, and I want to add a little bit more, one more cylinder on there. And we'll see how it all, all works. But uh, that's the theory behind it.